Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. Hope you're all doing well today. Hope you're having a really good day so far. I always, I'm, I just, for some reason, I'm like automatically, like, not programmed, but like that just automatically comes to mind when I when I start a video. I guess it's my intro, but hopefully you guys are doing well. And yes, I, yes, I got a retouch tattoo, um, so that's what this is here for. So if you've been following me for quite some time, you might have known that I had surgery. I had a pretty massive surgery, double jaw surgery, where they pretty much broke both my jaws. They, I had an uh, underbite. I had a pretty minor underbite, but with braces, the underbite got worse. So I had to have corrective jaw surgery. They pushed my lower jaw uh, back and my upper jaw forward. Plus, I got my upper palate expanded, and I got a genioplasty, which is just a little tiny bone right here on my chin, or else I would have had no chin. But not everybody that has double jaw surgery has to have a genioplasty. This was just added on by my surgeon. And I wanted to make this video, this is the final video because to all of my community out there that has undergone this surgery or is about to get surgery, uh, I wanted to make this video for you, specifically for you. To this day, I still get messages from people asking about double jaw surgery, wanting advice, wanting any suggestions and what to expect, or telling me that you know my videos helped them out a lot, which was awesome you know it's it's so great because when I before I got surgery I would spend months and months just researching blogs and just some YouTube videos on on YouTube of other people that had also gone through surgery because it is a pretty big surgery and I don't think people really understand how long the recovery actually is I did create a whole entire vlog series based on my surgery like before during after I did a one-year post job I believe I'll have a link down here or card it up there for a link to the video series if you guys are curious also even a week ago actually some guy wrote me on my Instagram and actually has an appointment next year with the same surgeon that did my surgery dr. Stringer in um, Southern California I doubt any of you are watching but hello if you are watching this so I thought I would finally seal this series off with this last Video, this is the last time I'll be talking about this. If you're a regular viewer of mine, you can click another video, it's totally fine. First things first, how should you prepare for surgery? If you're gonna have this type of procedure done, uh, my biggest tips now looking back, having you know over two years um, with uh, you know post-op, the biggest thing I have to say is to really prepare yourself mentally for this surgery. To be honest, I always say that like one of the hardest things for me was just the fact that I couldn't really eat solid foods for months like you know i barely could bite down a burger after like one year because you're literally pretty much like relearning how to like chew with a full new jaw full new jaw full new jaw yeah but that also has to do with the mental aspect as well but what i have to say is prepare yourself because you're not going to recognize yourself for the first few days you're going to be really swollen at least for me like everyone swells differently for me i had one side of my face uh, more swollen than the other and i had chipmunk cheeks and like all this was super, super swollen. So it, you know, your mind plays tricks on you. Your face is gonna go through a bunch of changes throughout a year, minimum uh, a year. And I'm not trying to scare you off. Like I'm just being honest with what at least I experienced. So just prepare yourself mentally and know that you'll have to have a ton of patience because swelling takes forever to go down. They tell you that swelling goes down after six months and that after six months, that's how you're gonna look like. But I'm here to tell you from my experience, after six months, that is not how I looked. Like I was still swollen after six months. For me, I feel like uh, the entire swelling of my face went down after two years. And that's just me. Obviously after like a year, I was pretty much done with swelling, but I look back at pictures and videos from even just last year, and I still had swelling right here, and my jaw looked pretty like thick still, if that's, I don't know if that's a, great way to explain it but my jaw even my brother was telling me this he's like dude he told me this the other day he was like because I was telling him that I'm thinking of making this video and he's like dude yeah like now that I'm looking at you like from your side profile I can really see that like your jaw has just really like defined because I went to visit him last year in Washington he's like yeah last year when you visited me I didn't want to say anything but he's like but you still looked a little bit swollen even after, like I said, a little over a year, and I still had just residual swelling right here. So I thought after six months, I would be just completely like swollen free, swollen free? Free of swelling, like I thought I'd be just, boom. Have patience. I know a lot of people say that after a year, they were completely done with swelling. It took a little longer, I feel like, for me, um, but it's totally worth it, I don't regret it. 
Um, it helped a lot. I talk about it in the other video. I won't really go much into this, but it helped me with chewing, with breathing, with a bunch of, uh, you know, things and like health reasons. So when you go into the surgery, just prepare that it's going to take a while and you have to be okay with that. And you know, yeah, that's, that's that. Something that I also read about and I was already sure about that is that, that you may have some tingly and some numbness, um, on your face for the rest of your life. Now, I think it's a rare occasion. I think it's rare that if you do have that, for me, I think the last time I did an update video for you guys, I told you I was still numb right here. And I'm happy to say that the feeling came back. I completely have full sensation all over my, all around my face. I mean, the only uh, place that I still am just a little bit, tiny bit numb is on this like upper left corner of this lip. It's very small, but I do remember even months back, I know crazy, like months back, I would go like this and I'd feel tingly right here. But now I don't feel that anymore. I, I, uh, I don't feel, like I feel my, my, uh, my skin, I feel it. Now if you're wondering why, because some people don't know that, like if you don't have surgery or you don't know, when you wake up, you don't feel any pain in your face. It's crazy, you know? I thought that it was gonna be so painful, but it wasn't that painful at all. The reason is because from my understanding is that when you're under the knife and they're doing the surgery, they're moving around some nerves. Um, so when you wake up, the nerves are, are um, like numb. And that's why some parts of your face are numb. Like, so when you wake up from surgery, from here down, you can't feel anything. And it takes like days and weeks and months. Like it takes a while for just the feeling to come back. Like the first few days I was just drooling all over. Um, but say you've had surgery and it's already months from now because I get those questions as well asking me, you know, do you still have numbness because I still have numbness months later and I did have numbness, however, it did uh, dissipate. Another tip that I have for you that I mentioned in my last video is that you have to have someone with you. I don't know if you're going to stay over like someone's house after you're done or if you have an apartment or a house, you live by yourself or with somebody, just make sure that you have someone that's going to help you at least the first four to five days because yeah you have mobility you can feel like you're alert and stuff but you like i remember for me like the first two days it was a, a little bit foggy just because i was you know on medication and you you know give you your medication when you need to like you know uh, your scheduled time and so have someone and another big tip that I have for you is when you're recovering the first, you know, three weeks or so, make sure you get out. Don't just stay home all day. Um, I don't think the surgeon recommends you do that either. Like get out, get some fresh air, walk around. I know you don't want to go out because you don't want people to see your swollen face, but it really helps. Like you don't want to get cabin fever and get all like, you know, super bored just at home. You know, walk a couple times a day, whatever you, you can, of course, but walk out and, uh, yeah, just get some air. Obviously, you're not going to be able to eat solid foods for the first uh, couple of weeks, but you'll get used to like, I I don't know, for me, it was worth it. Like I had mashed potatoes. I had like really bomb, I don't know, like mashed eggs, mashed eggs, is that a thing? Eggs and like beans and just soups and, you know, like casseroles and just different things like that. And I want to mention something as well that not a lot of people talk about when it comes to dual jaw surgery, but I don't, I don't know if this is like the proper place to talk about it, but I feel like, hmm. Okay, another thing that, okay, I don't hear this anywhere. And I'm not gonna get too much into detail about this, but if you are in a relationship with obviously either a girl or a boy, um, your spouse, your partner is also going to have to be informed with the surgery and has to be patient with you as well because when it comes to, you know, doing things, adult activities, they won't be able to perform certain acts and just use your imagination, acts towards a girl or a boy, if you know what I mean, you won't be able to use your mouth for a few months for those activities and even kissing your partner you can barely even like form a kissy face. So you have to just have your partner like be understanding and talk to them about all of this because it's hard to please your partner when you have a jaw that's like brand new and you're still kind of, you know, 
trying to work the muscle, trying to like, but I'm telling you, after it's all said and done, yeah, months and months and months later, it'll be fine. You have to like literally retrain your jaw. So yeah, you will eventually learn how to eat properly, how to like do all of that. So I just wanted to mention something that nobody talks about when it comes to surgery. Yeah, that's it. Have patience and do a lot of research. Research and talk to your surgeon. Ask as many questions as you feel you need to ask. You know, just be prepared. And yeah, that's pretty much it. Like honestly, for, like for me, it's worth it. Um, yeah, I don't have any more issues with my gut. I don't have any more TMJ. I can breathe properly. Like now I'm just, I'm, I'm used to it. And let me show you a side profile because I did that in the other videos. My hair is a little crazy. So let me draw. Ta -ta. Pa. There you have it. That is it for today's video. Hopefully you enjoyed this and uh, good luck. If you have any more questions, let me know in the comments down below. Follow me on social media, send me a DM. I check everything on my Instagram, at Jerwoo, at Jerwoo, J-A-I-R-W-O-O. Take care, and if you made it this far, thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Thanks.